What's up YouTube? Today we're going to do a frequently asked questions about the Raise 128 gigabyte attract mode image. There's been a lot of comments in this video's uh, comment section for the Raise to 128 gigabyte RetroPie image with the track mode. I will link this video on how to do it in the description below. But for the meantime, I want to tackle some of the questions that keep coming up um, and hopefully it'll help you out and get you along your way. The first thing is as far as downloading the actual image and extracting it and formatting your S SD card and then sending the image to your SD card, make sure you follow each one of these steps in the description of that video exactly to the T. The people that are having issues are the ones taking shortcuts or the ones that aren't reading all the way through. There's plenty of people having success with this. I know it works. So just read through it, do it step by step. That being said, let's move on. The next question that I get is, um, you know, what SD card should I be buying? Well, you need at least 128 gigabyte SD card as far as what brand and what, um, and, and which ones will work. I already posted a, a link inside the description there where I put links to some 128 gig SD cards that do work. You'll see some Amazon affiliate links. Those work. If you wanna double check, cause maybe you have an SD card lying around or you have another opportunity to get one, there is this link here. I'll post it in the description of this video. And it's a comprehensive list of all the SD cards that have either been corrupted or you know they, they stopped booting after a couple boot ups. And a lot of these are smaller, like four gig, eight gig, 64 gig. There's a couple 128 gigs in this list. And uh, this is a good place if you just wanna double check. It's the most comprehensive list that I know of. But uh, if you just buy one of the ones in the description below or in the description of this actual video, um, these that SD card will uh, work. The other question with SDs is will a 200 gigabyte or a 256 gigabyte work instead of the 128 to have even extra space that'll give you more room for um, extra ROMs, you know, some PlayStation or Dreamcast games. And yes, so uh, somebody had a 256 they were able to get to work and then uh, somebody was able to get the 200 gigabyte version to work. So a 200 gigabyte or the 256, just buy high quality. Don't buy generic brands, don't, and make sure you buy the elite, the ultra fast versions. They're an extra five or $10. You're going to want that uh, ease of mind to know that it's probably going to work. And buy it on Amazon because if it doesn't work, you can always return it and try a different brand. You won't be out of the money. Next question, what controllers do you recommend? Um, I put a link below to the generic Xbox 360 controllers. They're wired. They're fairly inexpensive. They have, you know, all the buttons and the pads you would want for the majority of the systems. I've also heard PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 controllers are great, especially if you're using the, the Raspberry Pi 3 because it has built-in Bluetooth. So you can use your existing PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controllers. So I'd get one of those three controllers to get started with. How do I set up my controller? Well, when you first boot up the um, the system, you'll be prompted into emulation station. And before you can go forward, they're gonna want you to configure your controller. So at that point, that's where you'll configure your controller. I'm gonna make a second video here on how to get the Xbox 360 controller configured. But for the meantime, you just boot up and you just go through the, the menu there. If you wanna learn how exactly to do it, uh, look for the videos uh, on my channel for that. Virtual Boy games do not work, as well as many of the Nintendo 64 games uh, do not work as well. You know, Gauntlet Legends, StarCraft 64, Rogue Squadron, Tony Hawk 3, Raiden 2 for MAME doesn't work, Rampage Arcade game doesn't work, Simpsons Bowling doesn't work, along with many, many other games. There's about 10% of the ROMs that do not work on this image. However, that's still thousands and thousands of games. And for how easy it is to just boot up on that SD card and then have that all pre-installed for you, you know, it's, it's, it's still a really great image. But for sure, you might have to do some playing around if you want a specific game to work. You might have to go back in and change out the ROM. Another thing to try if a game is not working, when you click on the game within the track we mode wheel, it should look something like this, like launching, it's just say launching the game after you launch the game. It says press A button to configure. Go ahead and press the A button, and then you should have a menu similar to this, and you can go ahead and then press the number two, and you can change the emulator. This attract mode comes with multiple emulators, so you can go ahead and try a different emulator because it might just be that that specific emulator doesn't like that ROM. So try other emulators as well. If that doesn't work, then you'll probably have to go put the SD card in your computer and swap out the actual ROM file and try a different one.
Uh, somebody asked if you can run recall box. It looks like you can. All you have to do is put it on your SD card, put it in your Pi, and then your computer, you can take all the ROMs and move them to your computer. So there is that, it looks like that option does work as well. Another question was, can you update RetroPie to the to the latest version and Cody and some other things within the image? And it looks like Dane has. He said, I updated all installed packages, RetroPie setup script, installed some drivers and updated Cody by itself one more time with zero issues. I have not, however, updated a track mode. Not sure how to. So I don't, I'm not sure how to either. This is not my image. However, it does show that you can update RetroPie and you can update uh, Cody. I hope you like this video. My final question is if I was to make some videos with God and Bro uh, and we actually played some of the games, what games would you like us to play? Maybe it's one on one, maybe it's a battle mode, maybe it's where I play the game for five minutes and then he plays the game for five minutes and then we see who does a better job. What games do you think have the best um, potential for good content, for a fun game uh, that you think we should play? So just comment below. If you see a game that somebody commented and you agree, go ahead and like that comment and whatever comments get the most likes, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look into making some future videos of us playing those games. Games. Otherwise, if you just hit that like and there should be a subscribe button here and uh, support us by using our Amazon affiliate links, we would greatly appreciate that. Thanks, guys, and until next time.